Hello guys, this is a tutorial of my automatic bread maker. Uh, I first saw the idea of Exumoroid and uh, I believe he got it off Generic B. Um, so basically what this does is it allows you to make wheat just by holding down the right button and then with that wheat obviously you can make bread. Let me just show you how it works. So you have to start off with a seed. <coughs> just point there at the tilt tool and hold down right click you don't have to take your finger off it the machine does all the work for you so just hold it and this isn't as fast as some of the other uh, machines I've seen but this is 100% reliable it's never broken down on me so yeah that's why I like it you can just hold down the button and do whatever you want to do do something else um so yeah guys i'll show you how to make it in a sec all right how to make it dig down not that far too deep put a piston there and block a saw you need a redstone torch there so this is on by default okay you need one sticky piston there look on the end of that redstone torch here two blocks either side of it that one you've got redstone and a repeater facing that way from this one to put two blocks up there uh, a redstone torch um, you can have it like that so and then we want to set up Our dispensers, which will go there. Oh yeah, didn't want to place that there. And there. Also need to put a block on top of the dispensers. Don't need that middle block. All the blocks surrounding. Right. Add that back to there. You don't actually need them blocks. I just normally do it with it, but we can do it without. Piston there. Dig down two blocks and put just one piece of redstone dust block above it and a lever there. So that happens. And that's so you don't collect the drops whilst you're um, working the machine because then it won't work alright this is a bud switch we're building here so we need to power it there we go So you should start seeing how it works. When you uh, plant the seed, it updates the block, and then you plant the bone mill, updates it again. Right. 
no, I don't want to sell this. One sec, let me just check my design to make sure I'm doing everything right. Yeah, it's going well. How we had it. That's the reset. I just need to check this to see what the repeaters are on because it's important. So I s click it three times and click it once. I know this design is slightly different from the other one. Um, but it doesn't make a difference in the performance. And then that one on four. Alright. So almost finished here guys. We need our water still. So I'll just grab some water. Now let's block off the area around that so the drops don't go anywhere that we don't want them to go. Almost finished guys, almost finished. Alright, I put glowstone here because um, if it's too dark uh, the seeds won't grow and they'll pop up, which we don't want. So you need to hold the soil here as well now. And uh, guys, this machine only works in survival mode. So you have to change it to survival if you build it on creative. All right, we need some bone meal and some seeds. The seeds go in the right one. And bone meal goes in the left. And you need to start off with one seed. Let's turn creative off. Alright. By the way, in case you didn't know, um, what I just used there to turn it from creative to survival is the too many items mod. Anyway guys, let's do this. See, it works and it's stable. Uh, one thing you should do, just in case something does happen to the machine, is put a block behind that soil block so the water, if the machine does like break down or something, the water doesn't get into all the uh, wiring and all that stuff because that would be very bad. But no, it's uh, never broken down on me. I've used it quite a lot now. It seems to work every time. So yeah, hopefully it should be fine. Uh, one thing, oh, your drops might, yeah, your drops fall back below there. So make sure you put a block behind that. Uh, this saw block here, make sure to put a block behind that because your drops will, some of your drops will go that way. And anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time.